Since its inception 75 years ago, the Medical Research Council Unit The Gambia at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has led innovative and groundbreaking scientific research in Sub-Saharan Africa and globally. To deliver its vision, the unit continues to invest in high-tech capacity to support the important research across its main themes in disease control and elimination, vaccines and immunity, as well as nutrition and planetary health. The unit's laboratories are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, with trained technicians managing complex workflows and data generation, delivering real-time results. So the labs we have here actually, um, so the aim is actually to do all the requests of molecular diagnostics, um, the projects that require in the unit, and as well we support the clinical services department um, for clinical care. So we plan to run more diagnostic assays, molecular diagnostic assays, that we can detect quite a range of other pathogens and uh, pathogens that are associated with um, tropical diseases. So we have also invested in quite a lot of um, automated systems where we can run huge number of samples in a very short period of time. So here we have um, the OT2, the open trons. So these are uh, liquid handling um, robots that just came out in the market and the unit was able to source about nine of them and we are currently using them to do our liquid handling operations. So we do the initial processes here by doing the lysis stage which is the first stage for nucleic acid extraction. Having this kind of um, unit with such sophisticated uh, machines and, and capacity also in terms of um, human capacity we have a well-trained staff that actually can process um, any kind of molecular work um, that is required. In the the high-tech laboratory facilities are not limited to our campus in urban Fajara. Over 150 kilometers away in Keneba, similar infrastructure makes analysis possible in the heart of rural communities. The lab here in Keneba is combined. It does have clinical setting and research setting in one environment. So we can actually have both our participants that come in for clinical care easily participate in research uh, studies that are happening. The lab is partitioned into four areas. We have a main research lab, and we have a cell culture lab, a microbiology lab, and of course the clinical lab that supports primary health care diagnostics for the clinic. So the lab in Kenemba was accredited to GCLP in 2019. And to date, we've held those kind of high standards. Uh, we do support satellite labs to reach that level of standard as well. And we boast of that as one of the key things we were able to implement in this kind of rural setting. The kind of standards we do hold help us to do clinical research that is of high quality. and with good excellency and integrity. Even further east in Basse, the unit maintains state-of-the-art laboratory facilities to support crucial research in these unique rural settings. We have nine laboratory rooms in this um, in Basse laboratory. That is microbiology, tissue culture lab, and then molecular diagnostic lab. We have enteric lab, as well as malaria lab. And then we also have, in addition to that, we have sterilization room one sterilization room as well as um, a store and importantly we have a storage facility that is freezer room where we store all our sample uh, as well as retrieving them for the projects that run in Basse. Alongside cutting-edge facilities and equipment the unit's high biotech genomics core facility has been leading the way in next generation sequencing offering ultra high throughput scalability and speed. Actually, it's, it's really a high-tech facility for in our region. So um, if you go around the lab, we have most of the equipment you can find in any of the labs in any other part of the world. You've seen the high-tech machine from first generation to third generation machine in the, um, in the lab. And also recently we've added single cell um, um, equipment and platform for work that we, the scientists are interested in doing in the lab. This is one of the newest additions to our lab. 
this is a Juno, which is part of the Biomac and the C1. It comes as a package for single cell sequencing. We have the C1 here, which is used for generating our single cells that are later sequenced. We also have a very small and portable single cell platform, and this is the 10X, which is also a new instrument that we are going to start using very soon. We also have the luxury to have the eye scan from Illumina, which is used for genotyping. And with time, we'll be using H3 Africa chip to be able to genotype samples from African essence. Um, we are privileged. Um, one of the things I say that we're privileged is that um, you, the machines need um, constant electricity of supply. We get that in the MRC. The, the, the way the MRC has been set up is that we can get reagent from UK um, in, in real time, you know, so we don't have to wait. So those are things that we are very fortunate to have and it would be good to, to have a system where we can support other labs to have similar um, type of um, facility and sustain it. Strategically placed to be a hub for research excellence in the sub-region and globally, the unit made large technological investments in its new data science program cluster to support data analysis. Previously, all the data that we receive, in order to analyze them, our scientists used to go to Sangha in UK, and the turnaround time was very high. And of course, it means that you have to travel, you have to rely on other people to analyze your data for you. So we saw the need to invest in high performance computing and that was why we put up a capital bid where we received a one million pound investment in order to build a data center. What we have here is uh, we have about uh, roughly about 1,400 core computing facility with about two petabyte storage. Uh, raw storage, which we get to up to about uh, 1.5 uh, data storage for mostly the sequencing the, uh, data and then other full science data, and then uh, provide bioinformatic tools for large data analysis. The, the machines we have here, we can divide them into three main categories. They are the general computing machines, and uh, that one we have about uh, 20 of them. And then we have uh, what we call the GPU machines, which are specialized fast computing machines. Uh, 10 of them are specifically for nanopore sequencing using the fast five file, so that you can do methylation and any other epigenetic analysis. There is another two which are high memory. They have high memory computers that, that for a large, I mean, very large data analysis. We think that is uh, given enough resources for, for mostly bioinformatics and genetics analysis for the MRC for the next uh, four or five years to come. The, the MRC unit the Gambia at LSHTM continues to enjoy a strong relationship with communities across the Gambia, as well as partners in the public and private sector. Through these collaborations and investments in innovative technology, the unit will continue to lead research, inform health policies and become a center of research excellence in the sub-region and globally.